everyone, my name is Stephanie and I was on YouTube a couple years ago with a different channel, uh, but recently um, a cause has come to mind that I just felt really strongly uh, that I should talk about. Um, and so what the topic will be of my video blogs is Huntington's disease. Um, if none of you have heard of that before, you can look up definition um, on the website hdsa.org. Um, they're great with information on there. Um, but basically, it is a degenerative brain disease, that word is always hard to say, um, that kind of works like Parkinson's and Lou Gehrig's. Um, uh, so I wanted uh, to talk about it because uh, recently um, I've been experiencing more symptoms. Um, I'm 33 years old. Um, I was 18 years old when I decided to get tested. Um, a lot of people choose not to get tested that young, um, but for me I realized it was causing me a lot more um, a mental and emotional instability for not knowing, so I decided to find out. Um, everybody who has a parent that is uh, HD positive has a 50% chance of having it. Um, and because I knew that my dad did have it, I knew what my chances were, um, and so I decided to get tested. Um, my brother also got tested, but he um, it was negative, um, so I'm the only one uh, in that part of the family that has Huntington's. Um, but recently I've been having um, more basic symptoms that I have been fired from my job two times um, in a year and decided to look into applying for disability now um, because although it's not considered uh, late stages in the disease, um, the, the symptoms have definitely been affecting me um, in a way that's caused me uh, to become a lot more unstable emotionally. I'm a mother of two. I have a, a little three and a half year old daughter and a three months old son. Um, but because of the Huntington's and I hadn't been on any medication yet, I became um, just very um, mean and impatient with them um, before I kind of prided myself on uh, how good I was with them, um, and now all of a sudden I just uh, get overwhelmed really easily. Um, and because of that, um, my mom is coming out from Colorado um, to stay with me while she's here now um, because I can no longer um, have both of my kids without uh, becoming completely um, overwhelmed and can't handle it. Um, so she's coming out uh, to give me emotional support. I basically told her she gets to be my brain while she's here. Um, but the thing that is going to be very hard um, is going to have to leave my kids here uh, in Rochester, New York um, with their daddies while I go back um, to Colorado and one, get emotional support that I need by living with my family again. But also, I just um, can't, I can't even live by myself anymore um, because just day-to-day -day things um, have just um, become too much for me. So that is where I'm at today. Um, what I'm going to do uh, in this blog is just uh, kind of mention symptoms that um, I'm having that day and frustrations. And anybody you know uh, who has this disease or... Um, might be at risk for it, I just invite you to share this video with them. Um, I just also want to encourage people um, with the truth of God's love for them, God's love for me um, in the midst of this horrible disease and how I would not be able to um, function uh, if I didn't um, feel his presence around me every day. Um, and again, there's good days and bad days, but that's what I want to be chronicling in this um, journal. So that is my first one. Again, share this with anybody that you think would be interested um, in just knowing more about the disease, um, but hopefully it starts a good to topic of dialogue um, with anybody who sees it. So um, I look forward to seeing you guys again, and I hope you all have a blessed day.